Let's shift focus now and talk about a big breakthrough. Scientists in the United States have reached a major milestone. They have developed a method which is capable of delivering almost limitless supplies of energy. The process is called nuclear fusion, the same process which takes place on the sun. Picture this, something that gives the sun its energy can be recreated on Earth. Fascinating, right? Our next report breaks it down for you. Take a look. You might be aware of atoms, the particles which make up everything around us. These tiny atoms function in different ways. They bond together and break apart. They can absorb as well as release energy. The breakthrough in question features a process called nuclear fusion, a term you might have read in your textbooks or heard in documentaries. It is something which scientists from more than 50 countries have been trying to recreate since the 1960s. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Let's understand what this process actually is. In nuclear fusion, two atoms are heated and forced together to make a heavier atom. It is the exact opposite of nuclear fission, the process that nuclear power stations currently use to generate electricity. Though the concept of nuclear fusion sounds simple enough, it is easier said than done. Getting two identical elements to combine is actually very hard. That's because they carry the same charge. And as you know, opposite charges attract while the same ones repel. A lot of energy is needed to overcome this resistance. But on the sun, the process occurs naturally, all thanks to extremely high temperatures. And by high, we mean 10 million degrees Celsius high. The pressure on the sun is 100 billion times that of the Earth. This makes the star of our solar system perfect for nuclear fusion. Scientists have tried to recreate these conditions on our planet several times. But to maintain such a high temperature and pressure is no easy feat. However, America's National Ignition Facility has achieved what others could not. The researchers successfully used a laser to turn a tiny amount of hydrogen into energy. The energy produced was enough to power about 15 to 20 kettles. But what is the fuss about? Why is this procedure so important? First of all, it is a clean form of energy. It has been described as the holy grail of energy production, as it doesn't need fossil fuels like oil or gas. So it doesn't generate greenhouse gases either. It could be the next big thing that helps us tackle climate change. In fact, its wide-scale use could help countries achieve their net zero targets by 2050. Second, it doesn't generate much waste. Its waste is less radioactive and much quicker to decay. Nuclear fission, on the other hand, produces a lot of radioactive debris which is dangerous and must be stored safely for hundreds of years. Third, it is cost-effective. Most fusion experiments are carried out using hydrogen, an element which can be extracted cheaply from seawater and lithium. This means its fuel supplies could last for millions of years. Fourth, it is a safe form of energy production. Unlike nuclear fission, fusion cannot cause nuclear accidents. Fusion reactors are considered to be inherently safe. That's because the process automatically comes to a halt when the reactor is disturbed. On the other hand, the chain reaction involved in fission can cause lethal accidents if it goes out of control. The only setback is large-scale nuclear fusion is still several years away, despite a series of promising breakthroughs. So far, we don't have the technology to make this procedure efficient. The energy that goes into perfecting the conditions required for fusion is less than or equal to the energy produced by it. Even the successful US experiment did not produce more energy than its input and cost billions of dollars. Although researchers are celebrating the results and see them as a true breakthrough, 
they point out that much more work is needed. Um, yes, there are uh, very significant hurdles, not just in the science, but in technology. This is one igniting capsule, one time. And to realize commercial fusion energy, you have to do many things. You have to be able to produce many, many fusion ignition events uh, per minute. And you have to have um, a robust system of drivers uh, to enable that. So, you know, probably decades. The road ahead is long. The next big challenge for the scientists is to reproduce nuclear fusion more quickly and cheaply. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.